Hi, my name's Bethany Suckling. I'm currently in Year 12, studying Maths, Further Maths, Physics and Engineering, and I am a 2020 Arkwright Scholar. When I was awarded the Arkwright Scholarship, it was amazing. The feeling I had was just unlike any other. It made me so happy to feel I was enough to get this award and going into the future has given me so much confidence that I will be separated against all the other candidates when applying for apprenticeships and universities. It's something that really sets you apart when it was on your CV. So the initial part of applying for the Art Bike Scholarship was teachers selected a few students which they felt would be academically minded enough to fill the Art Bike Scholarship. Once you decided whether you wanted to take part or not, there was an application stage. This application stage was a multiple number of questions and you only had a certain amount of characters allowed to answer these questions, which was quite difficult actually because there was so much I wanted to say but you could only squeeze it into a small amount of words. Then in the second stage, if you got through the application, it was a design stage. You are given several questions, two of which you have to choose and design following a certain curriculum. In the third stage, there's an interview. In this stage, you go to a university closest to you mine it would have been Cambridge but unfortunately due to Covid they had to select it on how many points I got for my design stage. From a young age I was always out in the garden tinkering about with old bits of metal, building things together, constructing things that weren't really much at the time but for my age it was quite impressive and Ever since then, I just knew that I would want to fulfill a role that would have a practical side as well as a theoretical side. And engineering for me, just, it, it feels ticks on boxes for me. And being a girl, it, that never deceived me or anything. I never felt like, oh, I can do that because I'm a girl. That's a boy's job. That never crossed my mind. So, when I came to UCCM, that just, it opened my eyes to engineering. I thought engineering was just, oh, fixing cars, but now it's so much more than that. What excites me most about engineering is, over the past few decades, you can just see how much engineering is changing, and it's changing rapidly, and it's an amazing, it's just amazing, engineering is amazing, it's so wide, so global, it can take you anywhere and what really excites me is how it's changing our future, how it's changing the course of humanity and I really want to be a part of that. The future of engineering for me is renewables. Global warming is a big issue across the world. It's impacting many lives and even animals. And the one solution for this is engineering. There are so many industries across the world building solar panels, wind turbines, hydroelectric cars. If you talk about it, they're doing it. There's so much going on behind the scenes to change the impact of global warming. So for me that is the future of engineering and it's a future I want to be a part of. I believe I can offer a fresh young female mind to the future and the world of engineering. It's something that engineering still lacks today. And this is why UTCN is such a great place for me because I've met some amazing people, some amazing young people that are just going to grow to be amazing engineers and what's good is 
employees can come in and see these young people and pick them from right year 10 all the way through to year 13. And they will know instantly if these people are going to make it in the engineering world. Because they can see from all these workshops we have if you have the right skills, the right attitude, just everything that they want in the engineering world. And I do believe that I could have that.